Hey guys, it's Austin from Turbo Lab, and I want to show you these two Saab Turbo upgrades that I just built this weekend. So one is a 20T, that's this one. The 20T is 47 millimeter by 58 by 62. The 50 millimeter upgrade, which is the 20T upgrade, is 50 millimeter by 60 by, or maybe it's by 62 by 65. I'll link to all these uh, products in the description. I also want to tell you a little bit about these. The 50 millimeter wheel, uh, Ian was saying that the only problem we had was that it outflows the MAF sensor at 20 PSI. So for some people it wasn't really ideal. So that's why we built this one guy at 20 T. <clears throat> As far as sobs and tuning them, I really don't know anything about that. So uh, I do know you could probably go with like the GM math translator. That's like an old school thing or the Apex -E, AFC or whatever, stuff like that. But anyway, as far as these upgrades and what it takes to make these. So I had to CNC the compressor housings, which is no big deal. I wrote the programs for those and then I machined the bearing housings. For the exhaust housings, we upgraded to a TDO4HL turbine, which is a 9-blade turbine. And then I had to make a special plate to do that. So the plate I made is right here. So this plate mounts right here on this exhaust housing so that I can machine that out and uh, I guess there's not really much more to say about these I'll go ahead and get you the specs of the stock wheel so you have an idea what we're upgrading to and as far as horsepower capability usually the 19T would make around like 400 foot-pounds of torque uh, but the horsepower rating on the 19T was usually like around 325 horsepower. Now with the 50 millimeter wheel, uh, we have people making around uh, 366 horsepower. I would say at most, if you can hit 375, you're doing pretty good. I've had some people claim around 400, but that seems kind of... But I was like on race gas and stuff, so most people aren't going to see that. So the compressor wheel is uh, 39.5 millimeter by 50.5 and then the turbine wheel is 41.2 by 50 or by 46. So on the turbine we went from 41 millimeter to 45 millimeter and then uh, or 42 by 41 by 46 by 2 a uh, 40 45 by 50 nine blade and then the compressor wheel we went from a 39.5 by 50.5 to a uh, 50 millimeter by uh, by 62 by 65 for the 50 millimeter wheel and then the 20T, we went from uh, 39.5 to 47 by 58 by 62. So to give you an idea, the exducer of this compress compressor wheel is the same as the inducer of the 50 millimeter upgrade. That's how much bigger the 50 millimeter upgrade is than the stock wheel. And then the turbine, 41, we went to 45, so we went uh, about 5 millimeters, or 4 millimeters larger. But we also dropped a couple blades, so we only have a 9 blade in uh, the upgrade. So if you're interested in this upgrade, you can always contact us at TurboLabAmerica at Gmail. If you want to build one of these turbos yourself, you can... Uh, Go to this description box and check out all the links to all the products that we sell to do this upgrade. 
Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want to learn more about turbochargers.